Hello everyone and welcome to GPU Programming with TNL. As the name suggests, this new YouTube channel will be about programming, GPU, but also about C++, HPC and TNL. It may sound like too many abbreviations at the beginning, but do not worry, we will explain everything to you. Let's start with GPU. GPU is Graphics Processing Unit. It's a special card or accelerator that can be installed into your computer. GPU was originally designed for acceleration of 3D graphics, especially for computer games. Later on, it turned out that GPU is excellent also for scientific simulations and artificial intelligence. Here we have comparison of CPU and GPU. CPU stands for Central Processing Unit and it's something like the brain of your computer. What you can see here is the best GPU and the best CPU you can buy today. The GPU is NVIDIA Hopper H100 and the CPU is AMD Epic Genoa. I will not read all the numbers, but you may notice that both of the chips consist of 80 or 90 billions of transistors. It is an enormous number and it shows that today we can design extremely sophisticated chips. If you would compare the other numbers, you would see that GPU can be 10 times or even 100 times faster than CPU. GPU is equipped with thousands of computational cores and if you succeed to employ all of them efficiently into your computation, you may obtain really fantastic performance. Unfortunately, GPU programming is much more difficult compared to programming for CPU. This is one example. To implement summation of a series of numbers in C++, it takes only three lines of code for CPU. But to do the same efficiently on GPU, one needs to write approximately 100 lines of code. This makes the GPU hardly accessible to those developers who are not familiar with the details of GPU design. To simplify the development of parallel algorithms, especially for GPU, we present TNL, Template Numerical Library. The main advantage of TNL is that you need only basic knowledge of a GPU to write highly efficient programs running on a GPU. In this YouTube channel, we would like to convince you that GPU programming can be easy and fun with TNL. The TNL webpage is located in www.tnlproject.org. TNL is written in C++ offering many cool features like number of easy to use parallel algorithms, easy and efficient operations with vectors and matrices, parallel solvers of linear systems, algorithms and data structures for the solution of ordinary differential equations and partial differential equations, and much more. The key feature of TNL is that you may write just a single piece of code that can run efficiently on both a CPU and a GPU. I also would like to stress that TNL is not a library just for GPU. TNL is a general library for HPC or high performance computing. And so it includes support even for multi-core CPUs and distributed clusters with CPUs and GPUs. Let's set up TNL now. I will show you how to install TNL on Linux. The installation process for macOS is the same. TNL can also be installed on Windows, but I will not be covering that in this video. What do we need to successfully install TNL? Firstly, you'll need CMake version 3.24 or later. You will also need a C++ compiler like GCC version 8 or later, or CLang version 7 or later. For GPU programming, you also need to install CUDA version 11 or later. Usually, all of these are part of your Linux distribution. The link for the CUDA toolkit can also be found below this video. However, I would like to stress that you don't necessarily need CUDA and a GPU installed on your computer to start working with TNL. TNL offers a unified interface for both CPU and GPU, so what you learn for the CPU can be applied for both. The first step is the cloning of TNL from the official GitLab repository. You can do it with the following command. The second step is the installation of TNL. This can be accomplished simply by executing the script install in the TNL directory. Since TNL is a header-only library, it is sufficient to just copy all the header files into your system, which is exactly what this script does. You can also execute it with the parameter all. In this case, additional tools, which are part of TNL, will be installed 
and benchmarks, unit tests and documentation will be compiled. Do not forget to check that the system variable path is properly set in your .bash rc file. This variable should contain directory home slash dot local slash bin, which is the directory where TNL is installed by default. So let's execute the install script now. Well, now we have TNL installed in our computer. We should also check the file dot bash rc. It should contain a line like this one. The final step is the installation of a helper tool called TNL CXX, which simplifies the compilation of simple examples and projects using TNL. TNL CXX can be cloned from its repository using the following command. Next, we just need to copy it into folder home slash dot local slash bin. For more information about TNL CXX, you can visit its web page on GitLab. And now we are ready to run our first program on a GPU. Below this video, you can find a link to a zip file containing this presentation and a simple source file. The name of the file is greetings.cu and it looks like this. I won't explain the source code right now, instead of it, we will just compile it using TNL CXX. The source code was successfully compiled and new application called greetings appeared in this directory. We may now execute it. The output of the application are greetings from your GPU. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you will also try out TNL. If you can wait to run your first program on a GPU, visit the TNL user's guide. The link is also below this video. Or subscribe so you don't miss the next episodes. Until then, happy coding and goodbye.